Hi guys. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to fix my camera. Um, <clears throat> and I can't really see the frame because all this stuff is in my lap and it's in the way. So I went to Tuesday morning. I actually went to two of them and I, I only haven't been, well there's two more in my area. One's like way far out and then one is like right by me. So I didn't go to the one right by me. I don't know if I'm going to. I think I kind of need to stay away. Um, I'm trying to save up money for vacation so I'm trying to be such a good girl but Tuesday morning is my weakness for sure because I always find good stuff in there. And I'm sorry for my nails. I haven't, I need to redo my nails, something terrible. But anyway, nobody cares about that. All right, so I did get some lovely goodness, okay? And I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because I really can't see the camera. So I don't know how well I'm going to show it all to you if I can't see it. So I think that I'm just going to move this out of the way until the end. That way I can move closer to you guys and kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I love Tuesday morning. I, I got all of this for a really good price. I love the prices they have. I love that I can go in there and walk out with a lot of stuff and only spend like 30 bucks um, and feel like I spent a whole lot more, which I did spend a little bit more, but that's because I got some paper and I got a really fun thing that I'm super excited that I did find for that cheap. So I'm just getting it started. Um, I got this, um, these have little tags and I just loved the colors. And I also like that it has this, um, I don't even know what this is called, but I like that it has, you know, this plastic part holding um, the hole in the tag together and I really don't know what that one says It's gonna bother me if I don't see it What are you tag? Oh, it says for you. That's really cute. Oh, it's right there And then it just comes with the little stretchy string which I may or may not use but it just says you're the best and then this one has a for you with the arrows and then this one says hi friend and I just loved the colors in this. So I got those and those were only 99 cents. So prices, I mean could I make my own tags? Of course they could but I thought they were cute. Um, I got this. This is a lipstick applique. It's by Betsy Johnson so it has the B on it with the little lips. I thought that was super cute. So I grabbed that. I got these. I thought these were so cute. And these are just, it just calls them design and wear beads. But I'm going to use these on crafts, of course, because I don't make jewelry. But they just say lovely. And it's a heart with a strawberry and a flower. I mean, yes. <laughs> and I got a few more of those, too, somewhere in here. So I might find some more. Here's one. This one says delicious and it's just a little treat I thought it was really cute so you can do lots of stuff with these you can put them as charms um, on tassels or just charms by themselves you can do lots and lots with these and they have all of the tools to make all of that different stuff at Tuesday morning as well or you can just get it from Walmart I don't really know I haven't made enough of that stuff to really know um, the price comparisons but oh. okay so I got two of these because I have two children and these are just little rubber accents so they're just accent embellishment pieces and they're so cute it's by crepe paper and it's that cool kid line and I love them I think they're so cute this one says wild child I don't know what that one says don't bother me it is a star an arrow so there's a little arrow. That one says Wild Child, the puppy. Isn't it cute? I really liked them. So I got two because I have two boys. And I really need to start making their stuff. I got these. Oh, these are so cute. These little, they call them beaded strands. They're by Dear Lizzie. They were $1.49. And they're just so cute. I really like the colors in them too. And again, I can use these on so many different things. I grabbed those. I got these little bows. Aren't these cute? So they're like little like suede bows. Is that what they are? Yeah, it looks like it. And all these different colors for $1.49. Pink paisley. 
You get six of them. I like them a lot. They're really cute. Here's the other set that I got. These are just little strawberries. It looks like little cakes. I thought they were really cute for 99 cents. All of these were, oh, 49 cents. I didn't even tell you how much they were. I'm sorry. So I don't know if all the numbers are the same. Yes, they're all the numbers are the same. So I got this little stamp. It was only 99 cents and it's just this little um, like this little decorated box looks like a little like plate like nameplate or whatever it's really pretty I really liked it I can do a lot with this and put lots of cute little stuff inside of it and for 99 cents yes please um, I got these die cuts and I'm always on the lookout for die cuts and embellishments there because sometimes they have lots of them and then sometimes they have nothing and I got these and they were $1.49 and they do have, can you see what was my favorite? Yes, and you best believe if they had more I would have picked them up because that VW bus is my weakness, y'all. Y'all already know. And look at these little vintage retro cars and the hot air balloon. So adorable. And then there's a little, this little city. It is what it is. That's my favorite saying in the whole world. My mom hates it when I say that. She literally hates it when I say that. But she takes it in a different way than I mean it. She says, nothing is what it is. Everything can change. And I'm like, well, that's not, <laughs> that's really not what you mean when you say that. <laughs> you mean just accept it and move on. Like, it's okay. It is what it is. You can't, you know, can't really do anything about it. Just move on. Um, here's another die cut set. This is by Imaginus. It's 23 pieces, $1.49. And this is what they look like. It's really cute. It's like this camping theme. And then it says wild child, rediscover, adventure, wild and free. Isn't it so cute? The little matches, the four wheelers, and the little dirt bike. I used to ride dirt bikes all the time, y'all. Yep, I really did. And I got into a really bad dirt bike wreck and... It slid out from under me and I flew across the pavement and I had I had shorts on and Birkenstocks. Don't judge the Birkenstocks. It was that kind of a day. I mean, it was that kind of day and age where they were all pretty much all you wore. Yeah, my shoe fell off and I just skint. Yeah, it was horrible. Yes, very bad. I had to be out of school for two weeks. Like, it was really bad. Okay. $1.99. This is beautiful. Tell me this is not beautiful. It's by Spellbinder. Oh, it's so beautiful. This says junk journal to me. <laughs> it really does because, I don't know, you could put this on the side of your junk journal. You can put it in the front and put something inside of it. I don't know. It just screams junk journal to me. I think it is so lovely. I just love this. It says vintage all over the place. I got some of these. It's just a lot of different wine stickers and they're so cute, the little paper clips. I like them. 99 cents, those are really cute. And then I got these for 99 cents with these little puppies. Oh, they're all kittens. At first I thought that was like a fat dog, but then I realized it's just a really puffy face kitten. So they're all these little kitties. Aren't they so cute? They're really cute. And that looks like a mama cat with her baby cat. Isn't that so sweet? That's really cute. I'm sorry, but if you can't think, if you don't think kittens are cute, you have problems. Okay. And then I got these. You guys know I love seven gypsies. I love them. And you get six pieces. And these are just little folders, and it's Christmas related. This is what's $1.99. They're four by six little file folders and this is what they look like so I'll just take them out you can kind of see them right there but I don't know I'll just take them out you get this one Santa Claus girls and boys naughty and nice list and then you open it up and it looks like this isn't that cute and again I know you guys are gonna get tired of me doing this but I'm gonna start sharing all these so you get two a two of each of them 
But it says junk journal to me. It really does. Look how beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. And this is like it's a little book. This is the table of contents for the book. Oh, so pretty. I think that is so pretty. Vintage Christmas is my favorite. Christmas is my favorite holiday. And vintage Christmas is, oh, my favorite. This one, when what do, when what do my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Isn't that so pretty? I think that's really pretty. It's on both sides. So I got those, okay? So that's all the little things I got. And I'm going to stick these back in here. Oh, and I also got a pair of of handy dandy scissors again because I don't know where my pink ones are and I'll show them to you if I can ever get this silly thing back into the package oh that's so annoying okay here we go so I just got these and they're gold so it's pretty but yeah I need some more craft scissors in this size because Tristan, I can probably find them, but I figured if he keeps stealing them away, then I might as well just get an extra pair. So yeah. Okay, then I got a few more goodness. Okay, this, well, I, I think this was my most favorite find, and it's huge, so it's really going to be hard for me to put it in frame. But it was a trim and scoreboard, and that's by We Are Memory Keepers. Okay, so my trimmer broke. I, I dropped it and the thing snapped and it broke and I was really upset because I can still use it fine, but it's just aggravating because it keeps falling and I have to keep putting it back before I can lift it up and use it. But I don't have a scoreboard. And I, I know, right? That's ridiculous. So I, don't, I didn't have a scoreboard and this is a trimmer and a scoreboard and it folds out. So if you're not familiar with a scoreboard, it folds out and then it has a little, I don't even know if you can see this. Yes. It has a little storage place for you to put the scoring tool. So this is what you use to score, you know, if you're making a card or if you're making rosettes and you need to score all of the edges so that they're easier to fold. So, okay. If you don't, if you're not familiar with the scoreboard, I mean, surely you are. I'm probably being so ridiculous explaining this to you, but Okay, let me see if I can show you this part. You see these pretty rosettes that you can make? It's so much easier with a scoreboard that I have not had. See, they made like envelopes and all of these different things. It's so much easier with a scoreboard and a bone folder because when you have one of those, you don't have to keep folding it back and forth to give it a good fold. And that's what I've been having to do when I make like rosettes. And honestly, that's why... Rosettes, me making bunches of rosettes out of cardboard are really, I mean cardboard, cardstock are really hard for me because I'm sick of having to fold everything the exact same measurement when you can just score it exactly the way that you need to and you don't have to do all the folding yourself. So it just makes it a lot easier. So I was really glad to find this for $14.99 for both of those. I mean, oh boy. They had like the massager and they were putting it up against the door and it sounded like, I don't know, it sounded horrible. It sounded like something terrible was happening. Yeah. Okay. I also got this kit because I don't think I have this one. I really, really don't think I have this one. I could be wrong, but I don't think I do. And it's called Beautiful Life. And this is what it looks like on the back. And of course it was the $5.99. Y'all, these boys are going to drive me nuts. Sword fighting and then whining about it. But look at these pretty pictures. This, this camera and then this little banner that you can make. Look at these little vintage pieces. I love this. And even if I have this again, I know that I can use it. And I'll use it for two completely different things. But the papers are really pretty in it too. So I did get that one. Then I got these. And these, these are for albums, so it's called Albums Made Easy, and it's by We Are Memory Keepers, and it was only $1.99, 
and it shows you like what you're supposed to do with it. This like project life cards and all of this, but I'm not going to use it for that. I mean, I might buy me some of that to do kind of these kind of albums eventually, but no, that's not what I'm using it for. So I, I love pocket letters, but I get really bored. I get, I mean, I get bored really easy with anything. That maybe junk. I think that's why I like junk journals because every single one of them that you make is so completely different from the first one that it's really fun. It's just fun to make something crazy and different. But I figured I could make some pocket letters with these and they would be beautiful and it would be so much different than um, the normal ones and so I wouldn't get sick of it. So I mean I know that it's going to be a little bit different because obviously these don't fold the same way but it's fine and it's going to be really cute and I've already started making some so I'm really going to like this and this comes in a tin pack and I, I would have gotten another pack especially for the $1.99 but this was the only one that they had so I might go back and try to find more of these because I think I'm really going to like it. Then I got this paper pad. This paper pad comes with 48 sheets. It's by Pink Paisley. It's called Hey Kid. 48 sheets and it was only $3.99. This is great, okay? It's really cute, and I'm gonna I'm gonna open it and show you. So it's for a boy and a girl, which I don't have girls, but I can still use the papers because it's not completely kid related. Like most of them aren't, some of them are, but most of them are not completely kid related to where I can't use the girly paper for something else. But I'm always looking for anything that has to do with little boys because I have lots of little boys. And so, yeah. And also, if I make things for moms at church, we're almost all boys Tristan's age. And now we're starting, we have four, we have three pregnant ladies and two of them that I know of for sure are pregnant with girls. So, we've got some girls coming up. But, okay, so there's this guy. And I think I'm just going to flip it sideways. So, sorry if that bothers you, but it's just easier. See? This, this is for a girl, but it can totally be used for something else. I think it is so cute. Hey, gorgeous. Isn't that so cute with the stitching? I really love that. Hey, girl, kiss me, you fool. You are my sunshine. Princess in training. It's just really cute. And then here's some boy ones. Hey, handsome. Rock star. Oops. Hey dude, guy dude man, <laughs> I must stash you a question. It's just really cute. And then you have some, these kind of look boyish to me, like all of these. And there's some smaller ones that you can cut out. Some pink star, oh this is pretty, this is glitter. Okay, sorry, I keep getting interrupted. So I think I was on this page with the glitter on it. This has glitter as well. There's a lot of fallout to this glitter too. And you get some cut aparts. I hope this is where I was at. Sorry if it's not. And then it just repeats itself. Okay, so I did get that one. And then the last thing that I got was this paper pad from the DIY shop. It's from American Crafts. You get 36 pages. And you get 18 different patterns, so you do get two of each. $3.99. Okay? And let me show you the tag, just in case you're looking for it. So stinking pretty. This paper is gorgeous. I'm going to try not to ooh and ah over it, because I don't know when my camera's going to cut off. B is for bird. Y'all know I'm obsessed with bird. Birds and... I'm obsessed with bird. I'm obsessed with birds and vintage, so look at these distressed papers. Florals, that's another one of my things. Typewriters, gorgeous. This map, isn't that so pretty? These colors are just muted and beautiful. I love it. I love how they're faded out. They're just so pretty. I really like it. This floral is, I'm just drooling over it. This paper that is like a green teal color. Ugh, it's beautiful. It's wood grain. So pretty. So, so pretty. Two 
too pretty. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay? And so that's my Tuesday morning haul, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I, I will be back because this store is my weakness. This store is just my favorite lately. And to be honest, with the way Dollar Tree's been treating me, I've just been going there. I've just been less and less impressed. So really, the bigger stores are really my weakness right now. I know that you guys love Dollar Tree hauls. I was like that too, but I just have not been finding anything in mine. So let's just hope that they pick up the pace. Maybe I can find some good things. But... Anyway, I'm sure I will be back soon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great and fantastic day, and happy hauling, you guys. Bye-bye.